This storied house has seen some of the game's greats. Boz, Bradford, Peterson, and Stoops. Welcome, everyone, to Norman, Oklahoma, and the Palace on the Prairie, home to the Oklahoma Sooners. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the 13th-ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it. There are big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. We got to find something. We got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but we got to point to the next opportunity. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route, really, when it's off cover. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle from the house. He wants to throw it again. Pocket starts to collapse. And he finally went down. You can't expect to be protected for that long. Just tremendous coverage by the defense. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. The Sooners send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block, it's Brown. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Gamecocks offense will get the ball for the first time. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David. Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it, so it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head-to-head -head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling him in space, but also covering him out of the backfield. These two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. To the air, it's Sellers. Gets it to the back. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. The Gamecocks are in the hurry up. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Leaves it with the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. 
And already this guy is leaving his mark on this game. Opening drive, back-to-back -back runs where he's found a way to get positive yards. He was able to pick up the first on that last carry. They should keep feeding him the football. The more success they have, it's going to open up the play action game. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I, I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? How do you keep the defense off balance? Because they are a good one. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. They finally make the stop, but he shows why he is dangerous on the run, too, and he's got a first down. Leaves it with the back. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. The noise level is relentless here on second down. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Dances away from the heat. Got some room, heads to the goal line. And he's sprinting, he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open didn't panic he just decided man i'm gonna go do this myself i'm gonna use my wheels and put up six on the board he did just that he'll try to tack on one more and with the extra point they get the first seven of the game they took it 64 yards right down the field and they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. And the Sooners want to move quickly. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the quarterback is snowed under. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. The Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball, and he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. Looking for space, it's Sanders. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Going to the running game. They're just trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Looking for an open area to his left. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Use the play fake, now to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Now on second down. The give to the tailback. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Trying to pick it up on the ground. 
He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The Gamecocks have this offense rolling. A first down run on the doorstep. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal for the offense. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. Escapes the sack. And the sack! All the way back at the five. Man, this has been a struggle for this offense, protecting their quarterback. It's priority's mission number one, right? Every single game you go into last week, I think a lot of the reason they lost was because they gave up so many sacks and hits on their quarterback. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. What a disappointment. No good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Thompson to throw. Just a little off. Incomplete. The Sooners will punt this one away. He'll bring it back. It's Brown. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Good field position here as they start this drive from their 43. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry up. Right back to the well. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After picking up a couple at second and eight. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. It's third down, and they've got to get it to the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Now improvising. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. And this is a guy who's very quickly writing the record books for his school. Five sacks. That is not a tight one. Five sacks his last time out, and here he is getting his first in the game. The Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. First boot of the day is on its way. He was called on three times in that loss last week. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. They've hit a bit of a long and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now... Can anyone catch him? Inside the 30. He's at the 10. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown Sooner! Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football. So much explosiveness and firepower. And we get 
high scoring game after high scoring game and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Bangs it through for an extra point. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellows, big update in a top five game today. Texas is trailing, but they are within striking distance. Kind of like when Major Applewhite turned a huge deficit in the 2001 Holiday Bowl into a win. Maybe today is deja vu. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Georgia. We'll parachute back into your game, fellas, if anything changes in this heavyweight battle. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Might as well stick with him. Shakes off the defender. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. They go to the counter. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Using the quick game. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you walk. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Gamecock. Well, that score leaves you with a burning question. Who had that dude? Whoever it was wasn't close. No, nah, and the receiver was able to run right by him and, and get to the end zone and, and camp out and put up his tent and build the fire and fill up the coffee pot and just about everything else in time before the guy decided to even get remotely close to him. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Well, the defense came into this game ready for the quarterback option. Everyone played their assignment. They forced the quarterback to keep it. They rallied to him, made a tackle. Nice job early in this game playing good assignment football. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Feeling some heat. And they got him for the sack. A loss of five yards on the play. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Running it back, it's Brown. 
He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They'll go to the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Fires to the tight end. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to scramble. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down, because defensively, touchdown, South Carolina! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Number six. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. He'll start the return inside his spot. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. This is when the pressure can... And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Thompson wants to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Can't get him to the ground. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And the Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. Handoff from the gun. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. At the 40, there he goes. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. This is a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. They can run the football on third downs when they need to. They show you right there. They've got some balance to them. They really know who they are. They have a good identity, and that's why they've been so successful this season. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. 
Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Dances away to buy time. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Third down, and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. To the air, it's Sellers. Flushed out of the pocket. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. With the run on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. They'll try to pound their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? It's been the buzz of college football all week, fellas, and it's finally here. An update on that top five battle. Texas is down right now, but there is still a ton of football to be played. And for a program that ranks inside the top ten of all time in wins, don't be surprised if they come back. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Georgia. We'll circle back if anything changes in this contested top five matchup. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Thompson to throw. Takes a shot as he lets it go. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Sooners decide to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Makes a move. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Nice stiff arm there, but the defense still able to stop him for a short game. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Gamecocks will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Coverage team does a good job and touches it dead. No return on this one. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. They're going to test the right side with this one. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. They get him on the ground after he gets an 
enough to move the sticks. There's always been a lot of flash and sizzle to the Oklahoma offense, but it's built on being tough. Yeah, and especially the great teams. The great teams that you think about in Oklahoma past, the ones that were in the national championship or in the playoff, those are teams that can run the football, be physical. It all started there. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Got it behind the line. It's Beebe. This guy just oozes toughness when he runs, bangs his way to the 20. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Sooners line up to punt it away. Oh, what a move! That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yard you can and help out the offense. It's a reverse. What great discipline showed by the defense. When your job's contained, you're supposed to contain the football. Not let your eyes deceive you. Ball starts to go away. Your job is to still contain the backside. Great job. Staying disciplined. Great win for the defense. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Big third down here. They need to get the ball to the 41. Back to throw. It's Sellers. He's moving out of the pocket. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. The running back has it. Discards a man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Makes the grab. It's Campbell. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Moving out of the pocket. He'll pull it down. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. And the Gamecocks are threatening in the red zone. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Quarterback adapted. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Simon. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. They'll immediately call timeout. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets rid of it. He's got it. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this hand. The Gamecocks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Quarterback on the keeper. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks! Well, they go back to the option play, and now this is the second time, Paul, that this QB has scored running this scheme offensively. Yeah, and as a defense, you've got to understand when you're playing the option, it's responsibility football. i got to stop my assignment. I can't get caught in somebody else's business. You can tell this defense not really ready for this quarterback run game. They better figure it out or it's going to be a long game. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the move from inside is five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. 
They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You gotta get some points on the board. You gotta create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about. Oh, look out! That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. To the air on first down. They're bringing heat. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Thompson wants to throw. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. So they won't get a touchdown, but a chance to put something on the board before halftime. And it's right down the boulevard. always gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it back from inside his five. They get him down and that'll be the final play of the third period. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. An entertaining first half and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Sooners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. A really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun. Give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Steps away. Trying to make magic with his feet. Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. And the Gamecocks will line it up on first and ten. Still on his feet at the 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read grab behind the line it's Sanders looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out second down coming up they'll test the right side pick up a five it'll be third down and five trying to pick up a first down Back to pass, it's Sellers. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going to run it. 
And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. Setting up for a first and ten from the 27. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Extending the play. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. That defender was not fooled at all by the play action. He never thought the offense was running the football. He had his ears pinned back, used his speed to get to the QB. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. He'll try to do it himself. Picks up what he can and then slides. It's fourth down and they'll try the field goal. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Thompson to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. On the return, it's Brown. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up recent. I like where I'm at. If I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some range for their running back. Power football with the run. Shows him the stiff arm. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Quickly out to the tight end. He steps up, but he's got enough for a first down. The Gamecocks are marching down the field. Going to run it. It's Sanders. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. On third down, he drops the throw. Going to try to get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. 
Running back searching for a hole. Using that running game to budge and forward. He's got four down to the 35. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Wide receiver coming across in motion. To the air. It's Sellers. Here he goes breaking the pocket. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Grab behind the line, it's Sanders. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Simon. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Avoids pressure. But now he's swallowed up, and he'll be knocked down for a loss on the trick play. All right, offense has got to be better. You've done a nice job getting the football to this point in the red zone, but now you can't go backwards. You've got to be able to get rid of the football if it's not there, and that was a terrible play giving up the sack. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. He'll pull it on the read. They stripped it out. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. And I tell you what, it's hard to be a quarterback in an option offense when you got so many things you have to be accountable for, and then you got to take care of the football, right? When you do make the decision to run right or wrong, it's your decision. Now you got to wrap that thing up. You can't fumble the football. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's going to let one fly down the middle. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And so many times the safeties tell the tape, and that's what QBs are studying and reading. And he drops back, and you can tell. He sees his receiver coming from the right side, and he knows exactly where he's going to end up with that post. Pushes the ball down the field for the big play. Got the safety out of position and made the big touchdown throw. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the boulevard. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, fellas, big update in a top five game today. Texas is trailing, but they are within striking distance. Kind of like when Major Applewhite turned a huge deficit in the 2001 Holiday Bowl into a win. Maybe today is deja vu. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Georgia. We promise to keep you updated if anything changes in this matchup of one versus two. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Sports across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of five. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Hands it off. Tough sledding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. The Gamecocks will try to pin them back with the punt. Looking for a block. It's Burks. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. 
Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go. He's got it inside the 25. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. Touchdown sooner. What a catch and run for six. It's so challenging to stop. The middle of the field passes deep down. You stretch me in these zones. I got to run with you. And man, it's always a good idea to run those deep posts. And you could tell they saw it all the way. Receiver quarterback on same page gets the big touchdown. Lining up to add another. Splits those uprights right in half. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. They've got it down to a two touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And the Heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. We'll see if they can dial up one that works this time on second down from the 14. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. And the Gamecocks send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll bring it back. It's Burks. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Sooner offense returns to the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Quickly complete. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the Sooners in the hurry up. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. The run from the shotgun. At the 45 on his way! Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Thompson wants to throw. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Takes a hit as he fires. 
That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking deep down the right side. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Some heat on that completion. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Quick tempo here for the offense. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. The incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Simon. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws and turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. He's going to take off. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line. Nice job holding on to that football really tight at the end of the run. you got to understand the situation. You're up. It's the fourth quarter. I want to keep that clock moving, but more importantly, I can't turn it over. i got to make sure I wrap it up. Really good job by the QB now. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. To the air, it's Sellers, looking to buy time. Got some room in to the goal line. Nifty little scamper on this one, enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's still third and goal. Trying play action. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now the lead's extended a little far. Lee just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. The deficit is large. Hope is fainting, but they'll try to finish strong. Made a lot of mistakes in this game, and that's why it looks like they're going to take the L. Lots of things to improve on, lots of things to coach upon. And at this point, I think if you're a head coach, David, you're just trying to see which of your guys aren't quitting late. Yeah, which is a real thing, by the way. Uh, who's going to compete to the... He hurls one deep down the left side. Snags it! Can't 
wide cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Thompson to throw. Trying to get to him. Six more to the board with that trip to the house. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. You still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Ready to try the point the after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Clemson had an impressive showing there in Death Valley, winning this one by double digits, although it felt like it could have been more. Somewhere even Trevor Lawrence is impressed with this one. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give and tick, 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 tick. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. There he goes to the right. The 10. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, South Carolina. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. And, you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. The short hands, it's Burks. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. And now on second down for this offense. Thompson wants to throw. They're trying to get to him. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Bounced right back to them. The Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Fires to the wide out. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The offense failed to convert on fourth down earlier, but that didn't change their thinking here. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Showing the arm strength to the left. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook. The old deal down from victory formation. And now this team has fallen into a three-game slide and a season of promise has now had a lot of promises broken. Yeah, this is a team that really needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror right now and make a decision. What are we going to be? What am I about? What am I willing to do at this point of the season to get this thing turned around? A lot of tough and real conversations are going to have to take place.
And this is when the coaches really make their money, right? How can I get my kids to focus when I know there's probably not a lot to play for down the road? Um, so let's, let's win every game. Let's win every battle. Let's spoil other people's seasons on the way out, even though our season didn't pan the way we wanted it to. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.